Hello and welcome back to our stealth AI tutorial series. In the previous episode we got our AI character to see us and start following us. But now I want him to go to our last known position and change their speed when they're chasing after us. So let's go through that process. So in here we're going to go into our enemy AI controller and this is the code we done last time. Now we've got true going to this target location actor but instead of on false we don't want to do actor we want to do location vector instead so we're going to take the blackboard and we're going to set blackboard vector value as vector plug that into false the key name is going to be the same as this one but with vector not actor so copy that in and just change that from actor to vector and the vector value is going to come from the stimuli source so you can copy that and drag in the location there. So that's going to send a location to our blackboard based on whether or not we last were seen. So if we weren't seen, it's going to go down the false path and tell us that we're not investigating, but we have a location to go to. So then on the behavior tree, what we're going to do here is we need to add a third path down here. So I'm going to move this around here and do a last move to. And this move to is going to take a location vector. So I'm going to take the vector option there and leave it as is. I want to make sure my decorators here and here are both set to a bought self only, not both or low priority, just self. So then when it does change, it just stops the current branch and goes down the next one instead. So when it stops seeing the actor, in other words, this becomes false, it will abort this and then go down the next one because that's how our selector works. So now if I push play, the enemy will lose sight of me, but will still walk towards their last known position. And when it gets that last known position, it will stop and then walk back to its path. So... Let's add a little bit of a wait time there. So for this, we're going to add a sequence to the end of this. So we go sequence. And we'll plug the move two to that. And at the end, we'll do a wait time there of two seconds, for example. And that sequence is going to be, uh, we'll call that one, last known position sequence. Okay, so we know what that does. Now, what might be quite nice to do is that we actually include this into our investigation sequence rather than having it as a separate path. It kind of doesn't make sense because you've got patrol, investigation, and you've got this separate thing. This should be technically part of investigation. So let's see about including that here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to detach it from the root and connect it to our investigation sequence. But what I want to do here is I want to change where the decorator is. So rather than have it on the sequence, we're going to drag that down onto this move two. So this move two is going to be triggered once this thing has failed out. So when it supports, it goes down here, enters investigation mode, and moves to a target location if we are investigating a location. And we're going to our actor's location there. And then when that fails again, it'll go back up. And rather than sorry, rather than do a sequence, we want to do a selector. My bad, apologies. This will be a selector. Because if you fail something inside the sequence, the whole sequence fails. So you don't want to do that. So let's go to a selector. That go there. And then this will go here. And there you go. So this selector will then go up like so. Do this. And when that fails, it will go back up to selector and do the next one, which is go to last known position. So let's have another look at what we've got going on here. Um, so the issues that we may come up to in later, when we do like just semantically, um, we've got investigation so later on we're going to be adding hearing and that'll be a location not an actor to go to so investigations should be all about going to a location vector rather than a chasing vector so an actor vector sorry. so we've got three things with three states we've got patrol state we've got investigation state and we're going to need a third state which is going to be the chasing the high alert state so I'm going to go into sequence here and we'll name this sequence alert sequence. And on the alert sequence, we're going to have a move to. And this will be a move to actor. 
So move to and then change that to location actor. And that'll be when it sees the player and starts chasing the player and attacking them and so forth. So it goes, does all that. That means on the investigation, we don't want to do target location actor. We want to do target location vector. So what happens when it sees the player? When it sees the player, the is investigating is going to foul out this and import this. So then it goes down the next part. It goes into investigation. And in investigation, we are doing this and it's moving to a location vector. So it's investigating what it just saw, what it thought it just saw. The next logical thing then would be determine whether or not it saw the player actor. So what I'm going to do here is add another blackboard decorator to determine whether or not it was the player that it saw. So let's go and look in investigation and go add decorator. Now on here we can go to the right hand side and change the target location vector option for blackboard key to target location actor. And we want to change it to key query is set. So if it is set to an actor, it's going to chase the actor. So in this case, I want it to be not set. So if it's not set, it'll do that. And observer bought this itself when the results of that change. So it'll only do this if target location actor is not set, but investigation has been set. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and when it does see the player, which is going to be setting the target at location actor, it will go up to here and abort it and go back down to alert sequence. So let's go back to our AI controller and take a look at the logic that's going on here. So when it sees something, it's going to investigate it. That's fine. But when it's go true and it has investigated something, it's setting a blackboard actor here. Now we only want to do this if the actor that we're sensing is the player actor or something that it should be going towards and checking out. So I'm going to turn that off slightly and we need to check what the sensed actor actually is. So sensed actor, we're going to do an equals to get player character. If that is true, that means the actor we've seen is the player character. And we want that to go up to true there. Now we also only want to do this if the successfully sensed was also true. So successfully sensed true goes up to there and then it goes up to player actor and that senses it as true, being true as well. However, if it's false, we want to clear what object we're plugging into here. Also, I haven't plugged it in. Let's put that back in. There we go. So if we are going down the false track here, not only are we setting a location vector to go to, but we also need to clear what this is. So I'm going to copy that and paste that down into the bottom here. And I'm going to remove the object value. So it leaves it blank. Now what that means, it becomes invalid and it becomes not set to anything. So if we go back to the behavior tree and take a look at how that's working. So if the target location actor is not set, it will let you do this. If it is set to something and it changes, it will abort it, which we told it to do here. It will abort and then go up and do the next one and chase the actor. If then the actor is not seen and lost again, we want to change it from alert sequence only after a certain amount of time. But we'll worry about that later when we do more complex stuff with the AI. For now, let's just double check that the changes we made has not affected the gameplay. Right now, you should be seeing the player and still chasing the player like normal. So now you can see he will follow and chase me still which is correct because I'm the player, he is in alert mode and he is continuing chasing me. So next job is going to be in the next episode is handling how it happens when he goes from alert to investigating. So investigating at the moment, he will just investigate a noise. What I want him to go on to then is going to caution, which is basically him looking around trying to find me. So after some amount of time, if he loses sight of me, he's going to go into a caution mode and then after some amount of time, he'll leave that and go back to his patrol mode. So that will be handling in the next episode. Uh, we'll make him walk around randomly around the map trying to find us. Uh, but in the meantime, that will do. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch that next episode right now, you can head to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey. Where you can watch that episode plus many other videos before anyone else. Thank you to all my patrons for their continued support. None of this would be possible without you guys, so thank you again so, so much. 
If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my content that I release weekly or my live streams. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.